Hey, welcome back to Beard Squid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. Recently, I've done a video about a Google Classroom and how there was a black screen when you would annotate. Uh, of course, they've recently just done an update, released an update, I think, over the weekend. So scroll down and you see, oh my God, I've got so many updates that I need to do. Here we go, Google Classroom, there's been an update. This has just come out recently, 19th of March. Actually, let's go ahead and see what the updates are. Classroom now remembers where you left off uh, if you close the app. You can now share and print documents directly to the classroom. We've updated the classroom homepage for fast responses. And we've updated the look and the feel of the comments and the bug fixes. There's big bug fixes and improvements. Here, let's go ahead and update this. It has fixed that black screen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download this and then I'll show you uh, what I was talking about. So here we go, I'm gonna open up classroom. I'm just going to go to a class here and just see if I can annotate and see if it's fixed that bug. So I've got up here, choose a class, I'm going to go to the classroom and then let's go to edit. You see it's working perfectly fine now. Before this was completely blank, I could go ahead and I could annotate on top of this now. Yeah, that's working wonderfully. I don't know if you can see that. I'll just make it a bit bigger here. Look, you can see that I can annotate on this and I can go ahead and save it. This is it, you know, we're at the mercy of these these platforms and these programs I and mean, there's a bug that, you know, you're using it. Actually, I was marking this assignment and it was a weekend the day before I had to get back and this bug happened. So I just wanted to provide that update. So if you ever wondered where this is actually saved, where it is in your drive, you go to three dots and you go to details and activity, you can see here the location. So this is just saved in my drive. There's no particular folder that it saved in, it's just saved in the drive. If you found that helpful, then consider subscribing and um, as always, I'll see you in the next one.